So neuroscientists know this. One of the ways, one of the most powerful ways you build neural pathways in your brain, in other words, certain thought patterns that, you know, a neural pathway, the, the dendrites on top, and it's filled with all kinds of knowledge and concepts and emotions and memories. The way you build strong uh, thought trees uh, is by focused attention. That's why multitasking is a lie. <laughs> it doesn't work. You're just jumping is all you're doing. But in order to build a strong thought pattern in your life, I mean an actual physical neural pathway, it comes with focused attention. And so it's silence and attention. That's why the Bible commands 3,000 years ago, be still and know that I am God. Psalm 62, my soul waits in silence for God only. I can't help it. It's a compulsion. I got to make the point that I made last time. Do you realize, do you realize the Spirit of God was speaking this not into a modern contemporary man or woman with their cell phone and headphones and, you know, uh, video screens all around. He's making this point to a 3,000-year-old person. No electricity, therefore no lights, therefore no nighttime, you know, stuff to do, uh, therefore no computers and no phones and no anything. And so the sun comes up, I live my life, the sun goes down and I go to bed. And he's telling that person, he's telling that person, you got to be still, <laughs> you got to sit in silence before me. And so the first part of the battle is learning how to pare down all of the external stimulation and create the time and space for you to just simply become aware of your thoughts. If this is too scary for you, just do it in the car then, okay? If it's all too, this is all too scary, look, just to turn off whatever in the car and just drive silently. And every, every few moments, just become aware. What was I thinking on, on autopilot? On autopilot, what was I thinking? Just start becoming aware of your own thoughts. Now here, here's the practice that makes this work, that gives you power, a time alone with God every day gives you silence and focus. A time alone with God every day gives you silence and focus. You ought to start your day with a time alone with him. However many minutes uh, that you can carve out, if it's seven minutes, good. That's seven times greater than you were doing before, right? Or 10 or 15 or 30. But create some silence Hopefully at the beginning of your day, create some silence before the Lord and spend time with him in prayer, communing with him in prayer, speaking to him in prayer. Let him speak to you through the word and then, and then make this a part of the routine. Make this an everyday routine. Don't get out of that space until you say to God, search me, O oh God, and try my heart, know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there be any hurtful, any deceptive, any lying way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Psalm 139, the last two verses, 23 and 24. This will start the process. Mm -hmm.